DIY Maintenance Daddy here to bring you a complete troubleshooting guide on fixing your garbage disposal. I spent a lot of time putting this together, so hopefully this is the only video you will need on the subject. Okay, I will cover in great detail, no cost, simple fixes most anyone can do in a few minutes. And then I will dive into more advanced troubleshooting when you should call a plumber or an electrician. But I will guide you without one. So if your garbage disposal is humming, not working, no power, intermittent issues, electrical problems, and more, I will walk you through step by step to get it working or diagnose if it needs replacement. This should save you time and money and learn a new skill. There are more videos to come. And it starts right now. Okay, so let's begin with the four major causes. Right here is the normal sound of a garbage disposal, nothing to be found. Clickety clack, the foreign object is bouncing around. I'll show you how to safely get that out in a minute. Then we have humming, that means something is stuck in there. I'll show you how to get that out. Then we have no sound, no power when you hit the switch and then intermittent issues or signs of failure where it sometimes works and then lastly how to check if your garbage disposal is electronically healthy using a multimeter if your disposal is clogged check out my other video link in the description below now for the detailed and easy solutions <laughs> Disclaimer, unplug the garbage disposal before retrieving an item. A helpful hand may want to turn on the light for you. Severe injury can occur. And remember where you unplugged it or take a picture before doing so. You may want to label the outlet so you know where to plug it back in. If you accidentally plug it back into the dishwasher outlet, it's going to continue running. The foreign objects will be wedged along the perimeter. Locate the object with a flashlight. Look at the gap where the flat flywheel meets the vertical shredder. Make sure it's unplugged, especially if you're going to stick your hand in there. Needle nose pliers are recommended. Plug the garbage disposal cord back in. Yay! Humming. An object is stuck. Turn off the switch. First, unplug the garbage disposal. Use a disposal wrench if you have one. Often one is hiding under your sink, and I have a few other options for you. My favorite is a disposal wrench with a deep socket for a better grip. You can use a quarter inch Allen wrench or six millimeter. Any quarter inch bit made for a drill installed backwards with vice grips or pliers. You can use a quarter inch bit and a drill. Once it spins freely, you can grab it out. Sometimes you can run water, turn it on, and it will flush it downstream. If it's really stuck, move the wrench between the two bound up points. I over exaggerated a bit much here so you can see what I'm talking about. In a vacant house or little used sink, the flat flywheel plate can rust solid to the vertical shredder wall. You won't get anywhere with this wrench. If this is the case, replace the unit. What could be in there? Eat your cheese. Besides cheese, what else could be in there? Food with bones, shells, or hard seeds? Rinse any small rocks? What is on your windowsill? Potted plant? Change? Jewelry? Of course you could dive right in, but it's a good idea to check it out with the flashlight first so you see what you're looking at. Make sure it's unplugged, especially if you're going to stick your hand in there. Now plug it back in. Two things will happen. It works. You're done. Good job. Or nothing happens. Continue. Here's how this happens. 
three, two, one. If it runs too long, it should shut off. This protects your garbage disposal from damage. Now the disposal switch does nothing. Look under the sink and underneath the disposal. Wait a minute for the unit to cool down so you can reset it. Jump the gun and nothing will happen. Now press in the red button. It will click. Now it should work again. Here is the reset button on this garbage disposal. And then check that it works. Yay. No sound. No power. Some older homes will have this setup. You have the power coming in from the utility company, goes into the breaker panel, through the wiring into the switch, and from there it goes to the outlet, which powers your garbage disposal. Some setups will have the GFCI between the breaker panel and the garbage disposal. Work backwards. Let's try the simple fixes. Push in the red button. If the red button is popped out, press it in until it clicks. Now it should work again. Three things will happen. A. It works. You're done. Good job. B. It hums. Turn it off and refer to the humming section. Something is stuck. Or C. Nothing happens. Continue. Still no power? Push in the reset button on the GFI and then try the switch again. Why? Because sometimes the garbage disposal is wired to a GFI. Still no power? If the kitchen and bathroom share a wall, push in the reset button on the bathroom GFI. Sometimes the garbage disposal is wired to it if it doesn't exist in the kitchen. Check if the breaker was tripped. Flip the breaker to the garbage disposal. It'll be in the midway position. If it's tripped, you'll need to turn it off and then back on. Notice the position of the other on breakers. If it trips right away, it's likely a bad garbage disposal, but could be damaged or shorted wiring on that circuit. Try the switch again. If you still don't have power, let's take a look at the receptacle or outlet. Here I will test whether the garbage disposal functions correctly. The garbage disposal only has power when you activate the switch by the sink. However, the other outlet always has power. This is called half hot. I plug the power strip into the other hot live on outlet and then plug the disposal into the power strip. This sound verifies that nothing is wrong with the garbage disposal. The previous method is infinitely safer. Now I don't recommend this if you don't know what you're doing, but I'll plug in the garbage disposal into the dishwasher for just a quick second and this tests whether or not it's functioning. I start by wearing rubber gloves. I take great care not to touch the vertical prongs on the plug or I could be electrocuted. Here I test if the outlet has power. Here I'm flipping the switch to the garbage disposal. Mine has power. Again, you can use a lamp or phone charger to see if you have power. Then use a stray cat to turn the switch on. Did those tests fail? Let's check that the disposal is getting 120 volts at the outlet. Make sure the switch is turned on again. It's best to use a multimeter to measure if you have around 120 volts because if you have like 70 volts, you may misdiagnose what's going on. If you had no power at the outlet and you've done the other things I mentioned, then I would look at the breaker panel for power on the garbage disposal circuit. The breaker could be bad or the breaker is mislabeled. This next bit is for reference only. 
I don't think anyone should attempt this without a knowledgeable mentor. This is dangerous, even deadly. I opened up the breaker panel and then exposed the circuit breakers by pulling out the dead front. I put one test lead on the ground. That's this screw on the bare unsheathed wire. I put my other multimeter lead on the screw holding in the wire coming out of the breaker. You want to see about 120 volts. If the breaker is on and you don't have 120 volts between these two points, you likely have a bad breaker. So let's say you replace the bad breaker. Then you try the switch, power comes on, and the garage disposal works. Good job. Suppose you had power at the breaker, but no power at the outlet. You could have a loose wire. Then you need to check the outlet, the switch, and then the GFI. You need to know what you are doing at this point or you could get injured or die. If you don't, call a professional. At least shut off the main breaker to the house to be sure. Here's the main breaker. I'm not going to shut it off because I'd have to reset all my clocks. These backstabbed wires can come loose on a switch like this one I pulled out from a light. But as you can see, a loose wire on the switch could definitely cause no power to your garbage disposal outlet. For the love of God, please tell me of power. Intermittent issues. You have power to the garbage disposal, but it doesn't work consistently. Turn on the garbage disposal without any water for a few seconds. See if it turns on. It may work after it dries out, but it leaks into the wiring. So run the faucet. If it leaks out of the base, you need to replace the unit. This person was evacuated due to the California wildfires, and so their garbage disposal had probably leaked into the wiring right before they left. It's not likely to leak this bad. This is total failure. And if you look at the base, it looks perfectly clean and brand new. Oftentimes, you'll see signs of corrosion when it leaks. A loose wire somewhere on that circuit, like a switch or outlet, could cause intermittent issues or not to work at all. Verify if your garbage disposal is electronically sound, or any three-prong appliance. Put your multimeter to ohms, the horseshoe omega symbol, and check ohms between the prongs. Only the hot and neutral prongs should have continuity. Check between the two prongs, here and here. On three-prong appliances, you should only have power through the hot and neutral wires or those vertical prongs. Power through the ground means the unit will likely malfunction and could be dangerous. That is why we have breakers to trip to prevent electrocution and fires. So you want the round ground in each vertical prong to be OL or open or broken circuit. If it's not OL, you need to replace the garbage disposal. If your disposal is clogged, check out my video on the subject. Let's share what we know to the world. That is our legacy. Yay. <laughs>